hi welcome to viva's canadian journey thank you so much for watching and compliments of the season to everybody watching this today real quick i'm going to be talking about a brand new provincial nomination program in the province of i have to take a breath before i say the name of this province because a number of my subscribers have given me flack that i don't pronounce the name of this province well <laughs> but it's a brand new pmp for the province of saskatchewan i hope i said it well and this program is called the Hard to Fill Skills Pilot Program. It's quite a mouthful, but let's talk about it. Let's get started. So the Hard to Fill Skills Pilot Program for the province of Saskatchewan. Now, before I talk about the criteria, let me talk a little bit about this province. This is one province that a lot of people send me messages and ask me what is in that province, what's there to do. In fact, one lady sends me a message and says that province does not even sound Canadian. She doesn't want to apply um, for one of their PNP programs. And I just burst out laughing. Okay. But the province of Saskatchewan is one of those small provinces in terms of population that has a lot of potential and is really growing right now. The landmass is really wide, but in terms of population, that's little under 1.2 million people. Okay, the province is in the priories close to Alberta and Manitoba. And the main industry there is agriculture. So agriculture, fishing, forestry. So if you have skills in any of this, you know, as a farmer or as a poultry farmer or as a cattle farmer, then you should be considering this province. In terms of intake of newcomers, a lot of newcomers have been going to the province of Saskatchewan. One of the PMP programs in that province has become really popular with a lot of immigrants. In fact, seven out of ten immigrants that have moved to South Katerwon went to that province via their provincial nomination program. So their PMP programs are very successful and one that if you meet the criteria you should actually be thinking of. Okay. So it's now very, very, it's welcoming a lot of newcomers. Even the universities there are, big, are really big. There's a university in Regina that is really big with international students. Okay. And majority of the people, newcomers that actually go to that province end up staying in that province. What usually happens is a lot of newcomers, when they go to smaller provinces in a year or two, they run away to the bigger provinces. But 85% of newcomers that have actually gone to Saskatchewan end up staying there because they enjoy it and they make it their new home. They're not thinking of running to the likes of Ontario or BC or Quebec. And one of the reasons for this might be the fact that 76% of newcomers that go to Saskatchewan get good jobs in, you know, as little as three months. The first few months they get there, 76% of people get good jobs. Why wouldn't you want to stay? Okay, so this is a province that, don't let the name discourage you. <laughs> yes, it's very cold, but it's one that you should consider. So real quick, let's talk about this hard to feel skill pilot program. Immediately, what the name tells me is that there are some occupations in that province that people in-house have not been able to fill. So employers and the government need external hands, okay, to fill these positions out because it says had to fill skill pilot program meaning the people in the province have been unable to fill it. So now we need external people. That's how I'm choosing to interpret it. 
when I was doing my research for this um, new PMP, as I was reading, um, going through a lot of uh, data, I was becoming excited. One of the reasons was because this is one PMP that caters to people in low skilled, in the low skilled category. I, I was very happy because a number of my subscribers contact me and once I tell them about the criteria for highly skilled, you know, um, PMP programs or even at the federal level here in Canada, they get discouraged. So when I was reading this, I was like, yes, finally, a program that is tailored to low skilled workers. So I was quite excited. So if you know, if this is you or you know anybody that is in that low skilled um, category, please tell them about this program. And most importantly, the Shawan Papers Canadian Journey. Okay, so yes, this program um, tailored to specific NOC codes. I'm gonna put the link in the description of this video. Some of the NOC codes or some of the occupations are janitors and cleaners or restaurant staff, waiters, front desk clerks. So if you work in a hotel or a restaurant as a front desk clerk, this could be for you. Or if you're a general farmer, you have skills um, as a general farmer, as a dispatcher or a receiver, then um, you might want to consider this 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 program okay so let's talk about the criteria for, uh, um, for this hard to feel skill pilot pro it is so long <laughs> but let's talk about the criteria this program is employer based what this means is that you need to have obtained a job from an employer in the province but they've made this quite easy so employers in the province have gone to the government and have partnered with the government. So job vacancies and occupations that have been hard to fill have been advertised. The link to this website is going to be in the description of the video. So they've made that quite easy for you. So that's one of the main criteria. So please go to the website, start cracking, start, you know, job, you know, start sending your resume, start sending your cover letter, as the case may be. Number two criteria, and very, very important, you need to have at least one year skilled work experience in whichever occupation you decide to apply for. So if you see a job as a janitor or a cleaner and you want to apply for that position, make sure you have at least one year skilled, uh, one year of work experience in the past three years in that particular field. And don't just say, ah, it's a job as a cleaner or a food server, who is going to cross check, who is going to, they will, you will be required to show proof. A majority of the time, this proof will be in a form of a reference letter. So don't just say because it's a low skill job, nobody is going to ask to look at a reference letter nobody is going to want to speak to your supervisor no nope. they will double check they will do their due diligence so make sure you know you can speak to a supervisor or a manager for a reference regardless of the job they will check number three criteria very important and i say this all the time is that you need the language proficiency exams don't say because it's a low skill category, you don't need it. Nope, you need either the French or the English test for this one. But the good thing here is that the requirement, the score needed is pretty low. And that's the CLB4. Now take it for, from someone who's written the IELTS three times. A CLB4 is very attainable, it's, it's doable. You can get it in the first try. Okay, so that is another criteria. Number four criteria is that you need to show proof or evidence that you finished high school, senior high school. So if you're in Nigeria, you're, you're gonna need to show your WAIEC or your SSC certificate as the case may be. So you need your high school leaving certificate, which for me, I think is fair. 
so they're not asking you for a bachelor's or a master's or a PhD like most you know provincial nomination programs but you need to show that you've gone through high school so you need your high school leaving certificate if you have pushed it somewhere under the bed you know now is the time to go and look for it and dust it off because you're gonna need that very very important so this is the main criteria these are the main criteria for this stream now if it were me applying for this stream one of the first things I would do is go through the sites the links and the websites I'm gonna put in the description of this video for this stream you need to register so create um, a profile you register upload your documents now my take on this is you can do things simultaneously you don't have to wait to you get a job offer before you take your IELTS exams before you know you can do it simultaneously while you're applying for jobs if you haven't already taken the exam register and start preparing for it if you cannot find your high school leaving certificate start you know start preparing start looking for it you don't have to wait till one is done you can be doing you know loads of things at the same time that's what I will do and once you have all your documents complete you can upload them and send it off and hope for the best so like I said it's brand new it's a brand new program started in December 2021 take advantage of the newness quote and unquote <laughs> okay take advantage of it and get cracking and good luck with your application if you have any questions you can put it in the comments section and I'll get to it and I'll get back to it as usual I hope you found this very very helpful until next time have a lovely lovely christmas and happy holiday to you and yours <laughs> keep watching beavers canadian journey we don't know what to do during this holiday period if some of you are off work and just keep watching beavers canadian journey take care <laughs>